So apparently we can collect whatever that is about. Welcome to your collection. Play the main game to earn toots, and then you can spend them on trombona cards. Can you collect all 50? Uh, it's better see on American music. I guess that makes sense being as I'm British, am I right? <laughs> it does look a little bit like Smash Bros, actually. You're not wrong. Give me a sack. We can buy 16. Sure. 16. I could have oh, just left. Guard gotcha. Hold on, I've got that as well. Hold on. Um, let's see this TV right here. Let's see what we've unlocked. <laughs> A design your own. Anyway, what a nice card to get for the very first bit. Musorgski. I definitely read that as orgy. Anyway, Rachmaninov. Claude Debussy. Haha, <laughs> bussy. Anyway. Okay. Beethoven. Nice. Tchaikovsky. Uh, uh, nice. Melba Liston. <laughs> I, I, I definitely read that as a, a swear of some kind. Tips. This influential composer and pianist, best known for his symphony number no. five, lost his hearing late in life, possibly as a side effect of eating 50 hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> you took a See, why is Twitch not get telling us about the six months bits? It, it told me that you resubscribed for one month in tier one, excuse me. When you me. walk into a room, you always come on the boosie and never come on the bark. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why Twitch is not saying like that. You've subscribed for six months in advance, Dark Fantasy. Thank you so much for that. six months in advance, sub. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so, so much, my friend, honestly. The, the bussy one has some ones in letters. Does somebody want to go back and double check it, right? Because I might have missed it. I wasn't paying attention. Among the most popular... Comp in fact, you know what? I'm going to put some music on here. Hold on. No, I'm going to do... Here we go. Among the most popular composers of the Romantic period, the Russian composer well known for the Nutcracker Suites, Romeo and Juliet, and countless more, he could have ate, ate hot dogs in one sitting. Probably could, yeah. The Missouri born jazz trombonist and composer was the first woman trombonist to play in big bands during the 1940s, and later worked on arrangements for Motown Records. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. What the fuck is up with the hot dogs? Seriously? <laughs> I've got so many questions. A glissando is a slide from one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of performing a true smooth glissando. Cool. <laughs> Mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Santos, please. <laughs> Smell the hot dogs. Oh, thank you, Boglio. Are you called bullshit? Same here. This is where it all begins. The part of the trombone where your mouth goes. You bet you like that, you pervert. Don't put your mouth on the other parts. I'm doing good, Rax. Hopefully you're doing okay. Welcome on into the stream. Uh, do put, uh, without this, you've got nothing. If you ever see a mouthpiece in real life, try blowing air into it. I bet you'd like that, you pervert. Yeah. Franz Schubert. This Austrian composer with an immense body of work is considered one of the best in the 19th century. Although he wasn't widely appreciated until after his death, his one-up, one-down collar style allowed him to easily consume more hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Um, Richard Strauss. This leading German composer of operas and symphonic poems was arguably best known for their piece Also Spark Zara Fuster, which is what we did earlier on. Whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. <laughs> okay. Polidoro da Caravaggio. 16% Italian painter who painted that we may have been the first artistic depiction, depiction of a woman playing the trombone in a panel. Apollo of the Muses from 1520 exerted above. Nothing about... There, there was nothing about hot dogs there. There was nothing about hot dogs there. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Slide. This is the funny part of the trombone that goes in and out. 
Note goes up, note goes down. Without this, you don't have a trombone. Um, you just have a trumpet. Disgusting. More things should have slides on them. Yo, super, super, welcome into the stream. Congratulations on the gifted sub and enjoy the emotes animated events at free viewing. Welcome into Trombone Champ on a steering wheel because memes. Because memes is what's happening today. Glenn Miller, this trombonist and band leader, extremely popular in the 1940s, died while flying to France to entertain US troops during World War II. His aircraft disappeared over the English Channel during bad weather. Seems like the early ones didn't have anything about hot dogs, but the later ones do. I don't know. Mu oh. oh. Yeah, I know. I agree. Oh, music. Oh. Right. Music is what we call the sounds made by trombones. It like it's like hot dogs for your ears. It sounds really good, except for when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy and listen to it a lot. Wise words. It does spell hot dogs. The French composer, sometimes considered the first impressionist composer, rebelled against classical forms of compositions. By the way, this is God. Welcome into the stream. Forgot to say hi to you. Also, hello, hello. Um, a forms of composition and strove to create new modes, sometimes based off his own poetry. I don't know. I really don't know. Have we got a lot of these uh these cards here? Put a banana in your ear. I don't know the reference, but I think I should. The how to date on the slide is immutable. Yeah. I don't get it. All right. We know what uh, Beethoven is. We know what this one is. So what's the deal with the baboons as well? These, vi these virile old world monkeys, often called the trombones of the animal kingdom, are the descendants of Babi. The bull of the baboons, who is a relative of the primordial baboons that watch over the twin toot vessels. <coughs> it is from Charlie the Unicorn. Of course it is. I forgot about that, Kenzie. It's been a minute. Don Drummond, legendary Jamaican scar trombonist with a troubled history of mental illness and murder. Ultimately ending in his death at Bellevue Asylum in Kingston. I'm in danger. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice memes, Antos. <laughs> okay. Roswell, Ru uh, Roswell Rudd, legendary trombone and composer who works in free and avant-garde jazz. Taught infomusicology. Performed with Malayan and Mongolian musicians and could eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. I definitely call bullshit on that. I, f I, I definitely call bullshit on that. N no. No, 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 no. All right. All become clear. Okay. Mozart, Mozart Music Storm. This Austrian mage holds the key to the earwig of Tempo Keep. It will light you up with the sounds of his sweet keys. Okay. Bass clef. Yeah, I don't know either, Dark Pride. I don't know. Favorite clef of the primordial baboon bass master Ben. This clef represents dark, but there can be no dark without light. I have not, Captain Pensive. Have you? <laughs> have you? Tommy Dorsey. This American jazz trombonist, conductor, composer, and band leader. The smooth trombone playing earned him his nickname the Sentimental Gentleman of Swing. As an American, he, could, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Design your own. The trombone is intentionally left blank so you can design your own. Gustav Holst. <laughs> this English composer, best known for his orchestral suite, The Planets, also played the trombone professionally. Which means he is worthy of our respect. Being English, he did not eat hot dogs. Can I get an F in a chat, please? Can I get a, can I get a serious F in a chat? I mean, I, I guess this is the 19th century, going into the 20th century, so maybe hot dogs weren't around too much in his earlier years. No, that's a nut, that's not an F. <laughs> that, a nut is also a different product of a hot dog. God, that F threw me off guard there, Dennis. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> 
Why does graphic design have to be so hard yet so fun? Because that is what development is. Zero, welcome into the stream as well. You eat hot dogs, Nico? Not often. It's not something that I would choose to eat. Okay. Americans in a chat. <laughs> no, seriously. Americans in a chat. How often do you have hot dogs? In a sense of like, do you have it like every off so often? Like weekly situation? Is it a common food thing? I'd like to know. I'm intrigued. Yeah, really great. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to put you on a spot. Very rarely. Okay. Morning, friends. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> rarely. Okay. Hmm. Every so often. Okay. That's more than very rarely. So. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind hot dogs. You would prefer burgers or sausages? Yeah. Drag you because uh, you eat cold hot dogs from the fridge in the middle of the stream sometime. Wow, very cool. Wow, oh wow, very nice. Ha ha, lama, wow, oh mega, wow, kek, w, w, ha ha. Hey, this guy might have been pounded on the head one too many times. <laughs> oh, falling link. That was very mean. <laughs> that was very mean. Yeah, damn, okay. <laughs> wow. Falling Link has got some opinions over here. I, I can't believe it. Probably you come back. You come back. I, I, I'm apologizing on their behalf, okay? Anyway, shall we continue? <laughs> Max Tundra. Ma Max Melissa, electronic composer and producer of Bespoke Soups. Is this a reference to Mighty Boosh? I don't know. In addition to Longtail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically acclaimed albums, which you could, which you should purchase immediately. Yeah. He said a hota, hota tyke. I don't know what that is. Anyway, you're gonna have to watch the bottom mostly by yourself. <laughs> Yay, sack butt, <laughs> sack butt. Did you know? That early trombones from the Renaissance, Renaissance, Renaissance and Baroque eras are sometimes called sack butts. If yep, it's true, look it up. Now you know. Must you not to call me that? Chef, <laughs> <Yeah>, please. <laughs> oh my god. You lot are fucking hilarious, by the way. Arthur Pryor. This prestigious Missouri born trombonist wrote some of the best uh, well known uh. trombone pieces, played with Seuss's band, and was a pro prolific composer of band music. He could eat nine hot dogs in one sitting. Jay Strauss II. This Austrian born composer wrote over 500 pieces, and with popularizing the waltz in 19th century Vienna. Sadly, his baboon like facial hair prevented him from eating hot dogs. Sag in the chat. Oh, hot take in a Japanese accent. Got it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Al Gray. Nice. I'm glad it is true. <laughs> this American jazz trombonist uh, who played with Count Basie was known for his plunger mute technique and literally wrote a book on plunger techniques. As an American, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. Why are you f slapping a button in the fire? It is a T. El Grado. There's a baboon again. <laughs> I hope we're doing good here. I don't know. Base clef, yes. Franz Schubert, we've done that one. We've done that one. Oh wait. When he orders hot dogs, he requests them as long as as long as my name, please, and everyone would laugh. Uh, so hard it's basically on fire. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, maybe. Okay. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy reading this one. Blue Eyes White Baboon. One of the most powerful Dromboner cards. The Blue Eyes White Baboon is a representation of the treble clef as it relates to Babi. The Egyptian uh, defecation, uh, desification, whatever, of the sacred old world hammer dryas baboon. Uh, Bila Bartorik. 
Considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century and among Hungary's greatest composers. He also helped to create a info in the musicology through his study of music folk. Folk music. He studied but never ate hot dogs. Sad. Not defecation. Yeah, I know. I, I said that. I was like, wait a second. That's, that, that's not right. That's not right. Um, fuck off. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> For God's sake, man. I got both in a single pack. I mean, dude, the roll down right there, the absolute roll. That's amazing. Yo, American Nitty, you gotta play the butt trumpet every once in a while. That's what I do with feeding Vindaloos. One of the most powerful trombone cards, the Red Eyes Black Baboon, is a representation of the bass clef as it relates to Babby. The Egyptian uh, disification of the sacred Old World Hermodrized Baboon. There we go. Mozart. 30 hot dogs in one sitting. Let's fucking go. Fuse those cards now, right? I don't even know we got that. I read that as cuck. <laughs> no, I read that as cuck. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I bet you'd like that, you perv. I don't know, would I? <laughs> Frequency, nice meme. <laughs> Gluck was one of the first to introduce trombone into ballet and opera. Don't laugh at that. No. <laughs> <laughs> this may have later introduced Mozart to use the trombone in his compositions. He could eat 30 hot dogs in one sitting. Nice. Uh, yep, we did that one. Bill Watrous, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the US Navy. I was well known among trombonists for his technical skill and pleasant sounds. <laughs> so complete. <laughs> I read that. Oh my god. The Babbins is definitely a dev team inside joke. It must be. With his sack belt? Exactly. There's a slide. Yep, we've done that one. Today, I'm going to teach you how to face your fears. Now, the first step to facing your fears is. A truck ran over a trombone player. You could say he was a little flat. Terrible. Thank you for the 25 bits. Thank you. Thank you for the 25 bits. <laughs> I just got the new in. Congratulations. I got another Red Eyes Black Baboon, by the way. Hell yeah. Uh, Tommy Dorsey. Yep. We got that one. We I got Max Hunter. say the truck got in treble. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Nicely be nice. Uh, yep, Debussy. Nice. The truck driver should have tooted. It is Mozart backwards. It is. It does look like an Elder Ring boss. Immortal God. By the way, this is uh, monkeys. It's called Monkey Spins Monkey, so it makes more sense to play with the baboons bit. Immortal Guardian spirited ta uh, spirit tasked with preserving the orders of the base and treble clefts. As a guardian spirit, unable to eat hot dogs but imbued with the power of at least 10. Richard Strauss, we've already done that one. Not on the wheel, of course I would. This is brass. The most powerful elements, brass is used to create trombones and nothing else. So to say, scientists have no idea where brass comes from. Yes, they do. Um, yes, they do. We still got a few more cards to do. So, Jay Strauss, slide, Al Gray, Gustav Mahler. Mahler, we This Austrian born. <laughs> I 
I can't believe that account exists. That's amazing. Miss Oaken, thank you so much for giving us up to Trasm as well. Nice meme. Okay, we got this one. We got this one. We got this one. We got this one. I think we did. Yeah, there's something about like eating hot dogs and stuff like that. I have no idea what's going on, but apparently these musicians can eat a lot of hot dogs. So, I don't know. But how many of these do we have left, by the way? Glissando, Glenn Miller, Don Drummond. Yes, we. Yep. Yeah. We've got a lot of the same ones right now. Okay, there we go. Good. All right. Uh, you mean you're an event manager off stream, so it's certainly an option. Honestly, it makes a little bit of sense. So, we'll go back to that in a bit for the collect bit, see what we can do. There's a new baboon bit here. We'll go to that in a moment. Here we go. <laughs> yay yay gotta be <laughs> oh all right get ready to fucking shit your pants from funny i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got to level up, so I can't complain, right? We've got two more songs. So this is the Trombone Fuerte. Oh, <laughs> you lost it when you saw it on Twitter. I've got so many clips to post on Twitter. Like, holy shit, man. <laughs> Shall we go for it? You did Elden Ring and Jump Sting on a fly stick. By the way, it was literally pain. I don't know why you did Jump King on a fly stick. That's just hilarious. Here we go.
My whole monitor just turned there. Holy shit. <laughs> I love the fact it was like. <laughs> oh my goodness, me. Please take a break after that pain. Lauren, I'm going to call one more and then we'll go for a break. We, like I say, it's the, last, the, the next song's the last song anyway, so we're going to take a break in a moment. <sighs> Today's playing Flash Flash Revolution on school PCs. God, that's a move, man. I haven't even thought about that in a long time. I haven't thought of it in a long time. Old Land Sign. Oh my God, by the way, that was a nine star one. Jesus Christ. I don't know if this is all of the songs yet. We'll find out though. Cool. Ready? Old Land Sign, the champ mix, by the way. I don't know what that means. We'll find out though. <laughs> Here we go. Also, KLV, welcome on into the stream as well. I mean, a B is girthy. It, it's kind of girthy. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that was it. So that's all the songs going up to a B. <sighs> Jesus Christ. 